What's going on guys? Jay Canada, wide receiver for the Seattle Seahawks back in action. This time we're going up against the 49ers and I think we played them once this season already and I can't remember what the result was. Why don't we flash back and take a look how... Another sack. I don't understand. Goodness. I won't have to do much editing at least because it's really quick and uh... I mean, there's not much to see from this one, boys. Holy moly. 48 to 10 is the final score. Kaepernick did nothing. That's right. We got absolutely destroyed at Levi Stadium in San Fran. 48 to 10. So here we are in, uh, I think this is week 7 or week 8, something like that. We are playing some good football. Look at Jake Canada busting down the middle. 5, 10, touchdown. And there goes my phone. You could probably turn that off. Uh... That was an interesting play. I slanted across the middle, and I just got the angle on whoever that uh, defensive back was. And I was able to truck her into the end zone, do a nice little dance. Here's another look. Wilson, that's a trend when we play the 49ers. He got laid on his backside, but the Seahawks playing some really good football in real life uh, since to a little debacle where they lost a few games in a row. But, man, are the San St. Louis Rams playing spoiler or what? They beat the 49ers last week. They beat the Seahawks, so... Looks like the Cardinals might be running away with the division. But here we are in the red zone. Third and eight. Russell Wilson running. He's running. And he gets tackled. Down to the one. But, you know, obviously we're going to be able to score. Uh, okay. Well, we're at third down. Third and goal. Marshawn couldn't punch it in for us on the first two tries. We try throwing. And there you have it. Russell Wilson getting laid on his backside. Again, I say the same thing. But uh, Hosh Money throws in the triple. The triple field goal, as we call it, as I called it. I don't know what I'm saying. We're up 10 nothing though, at half. That's the important thing. And we start off with some pretty good field goal position here. Or field position, not field goal position. And I catch another ball. Come up just short of the first down. But the thing with this, the 49ers is they are really good. I think the team overall is like 94 or something. So I was just worried about, you know, staying one step ahead. Keep it a two-possession game because you never know when they can go off. But Russell Wilson again getting sacked. Uh, I think that was on third down again. Yeah, it was. Almost took us out of field goal position. But Hoshka drops the tray again. So we are up 13-0. I thought heading into half. But as you see, the 49ers were able to eke out a touchdown. But still, only seven points our defense allowed. That's nothing like 30 and a half or whatever we let up last time. So I was okay with it. I uh, probably should have let that go for touchback. But I thought, why can't we get a touchdown right here? Foolish thinking from on my putter, especially since we were going to get the ball back in the second half. But hey, I get another reception there. You know, just got to add to those stats. Having a record-breaking season, maybe. And here I thought, you know what? One shot deep. Give me one shot, coach. Give me one shot, Russell. And Russell actually throws it without getting sack sacked. And it was almost picked off. So, again, not the smartest play. But here we go. Starting off the second quarter. Uh, by that, I mean third quarter, second half, of course. I'm returning this one. Pretty much just ran straight. And I got blasted. But 30-yard line. I'd say that's a pretty good return. Uh, down to three minutes to go in the third. Ready? This was a time-killing drive on third and one. Uh, Russell had time, and he missed. He was aiming for Zach Miller there on the toss and missed by quite a while, uh, quite a bit. So another field goal. This one was deep. I'm not sure exactly how deep for Hoshka, but, man, he's making his money's worth right now. So we're down, or we're up nine, rather. I can't talk. When the 49ers are able to get into field goal position and nail one of their own. But up six, heading into the fourth. Uh, after this kick return, I'm pretty sure we don't go up by more than six after No, <laughs> I knew guys. I, I was just being funny. So anyways, I don't know what I'm talking about. This is an awful commentary. But anyways, we're up six. Fourth quarter. Again, we just need to stay one step ahead of them. But on third and inches, Russell runs and gets sacked. What the heck? It's a field day for the 49ers, uh, their linemen, their linebackers. And we ended up having to punt and the 49ers were finally able to take the lead. With the touchdown, so our defense did all they could throughout the game, but the Niners just too good as they were able to take a score uh, from us. But look at this, four minutes to go in the fourth. I was still pretty comfortable at this point because I thought, you know what, this is my time to make some hay. On third and four, though, I couldn't hold on. My arch nemesis getting hit across the middle when I'm trying to catch. Couldn't hold on. Fortunately, our defense came up with another huge stop. But speaking of huge, look at that punt. Like, some of these punters are ridiculous. I did the smart thing there. Unfortunately, we ended up, I think Wilson got sacked there. Second and 19. I didn't show the sack. I don't know why. I showed like all other 19 of them, but second and 19. Uh, I'm going across the middle again. Russell's got so much time. He's got like an hour to throw and he finally finds me. I was running all over there like a, like a maniac and was able to get uh, close to the first down. But two minutes, coming up on two minutes to go. 
We needed a score, but we also needed to kill clock. It, it's this awkward phase in an NFL game where you don't want to leave the other team too much time. But speaking of time, I've got nothing but it on the sideline there. Again, wish I would have stayed in bounds, although with the two-minute warning, didn't really matter. But a nice big reception there. Yeah, it's a first down, Jake Canada. We know it. Uh, there's a nice little replay, and it, it almost maybe turned backwards there to start the run, and that's uh, always awkward. But down to a minute and a half left now. Russell doing what Russell does, getting sacked. Uh, that was on first down, so now we're second and 17. I decided to go no huddle. But again, it still looks like we're in good position, especially if we can maybe get another first down in this spot because then they would be forced to use their timeouts, and there it is. This time, when I get crunched across the middle, I hold on. I think that was Alden Smith that got me there. Actually, that was deep. That wouldn't have been Alden Smith. But either way, we messed up. We couldn't seem... <laughs> we couldn't get the... Uh, we couldn't get the first down the next one. And again, the CPUs does that thing where they kick the ball way too soon. And our defense needs one stop. Can they get it? Can they get it? No. So there you have it. The defense couldn't pull through. Five seconds left. Kaepernick and those boys up front... Uh, Frank Gore, Anquan Bolden, all those homies. Actually, did they still have Bolden? No, Stevie Johnson. No go, it seemed. Uh, they got the touchdown, and we are down five. So I thought here maybe, you know, maybe a big reception. Or a <laughs> return, rather. But Luke Wilson instead gets it on that little squib kick. But look at this. At, like, our own 43, we still have a shot. One deep play, and you got basically the best receiver in the league. So here we go. All Russell needs to do is throw it out there. Just don't get sacked, Russell. That's what I'm telling him. And look at this. I get a step. Russell throws it deep. And I catch it, and I'm going, I break a tackle, and I, uh, I get stumped. Well, <laughs> at least we gave it a go this time. We didn't get destroyed. San Fran's probably the best team in the league uh, in my year two connected franchise, year two of my connected franchise. And uh, if only I would have been able to break that one last tackle. Uh, too bad, though, and uh, we got to work on our offense. That's my post-game speech. We couldn't get offense, but we needed in the second half. Uh, I commend our defense. They played very well. And so did Russell. No interceptions either. I didn't force him to throw interceptions. And again, Colin Kaepernick, not the strongest game uh, statistics-wise. But Frank Gore ran all over our defense. 11 yards per carry, 11.7. I had a huge game. 7 for 154 but and a touchdown. But a few of those kind of just stat patterns. You know, the two, uh, like my two last catches. But in any event, another big game for Jay Canada. Seahawks fall short, but at least they give it a go this time. They were they were in it till the end, and hopefully we see more of that in real life. Thanks for watching, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. You know what to do. Have a good one.